Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Well, today we're going to have somewhat of an early lunch. We usually don't eat till 3, sometimes 4 o'clock, particularly if our smoothie in the morning has peanut butter in it. So this morning it didn't have peanut butter. It, had, it was pineapple. And uh, it was really good, but it doesn't hold you as long if you don't use the peanut butter. So anyway, I wanted to show you what we're having. We're going to use the George Foreman grill and make some hamburger. And we're going to have zucchini that's going to be broiled in the oven. Now, I've already got my oven on uh, 300, no, excuse me, 450 degrees to preheat because I'm not going to turn these over. I'm going to put them in that hot oven and then I'm going to uh, broil the top of them. But anyway, Mr. Bucky just got back. He went to the store and the dogs are barking in the yard and so on and so forth. All right, so to season these, I'm going to use a little bit of dill weed. I'm also going to use some garlic powder and some onion powder and a little bit of uh, salt. And I went ahead, I, I'm just using the Himal Himalayan pink salt. And I just mixed me up a little mixture here. And I'm also going to use olive oil. So I'm going to have to cut this off because the dogs are going to be barking like crazy in just a second. All right, we'll be back. All right, the dogs are in the house through with their barking, Mr. Bucky's in, and now we can proceed. All right, so I cut my zucchini in half. Now, of course, as soon as you cut it in half, it starts developing that little bit of moisture on it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these with some of my little seasoning mixture. And again, the salt is in there. Yeah, these are delicious, so we're going to have them with hamburgers, and yes, we will eat all of these. We love them, and they're pretty low calorie, so not that we're counting calories, but it's just really good that something you love is low in calories, I think. I feel the same way about the asparagus. They're low in calorie. Of course, when you put the uh, ranch dressing on, that brings up the calories, but they're still good and certainly healthy. I'll use every bit of this. All right, so I actually had my oven on 425 degrees to preheat because I want the oven good and hot. And I'm not going to be turning these over at all. I'm going to place them in there and then uh, I'm going to have the oven on broil. So we'll just transfer these to my little baking sheet. Now I've got an old baking pan and I put aluminum foil on it and put them up in one of my little uh, uh, cookie cooling racks is what I call it. So we get them all situated there and then I'm going to dribble just a little bit of the light tasting olive oil on them. Just a little bit right down the middle. Alright, let's see if I can smooth that out without taking off my little topping there. And I didn't put any oil or seasoning on the bottom of them, just on the top that is close to the flesh. All right, that ought to work. All right, we're going to put these in the oven. We're going to get the hamburgers ready. All right, we'll be right, right back. All right, we're ready to put our hamburger on the little grill. Now, I sprayed that with a little bit of Pam and then kind of spread it out with a paper towel. And my experience with the uh, little George Foreman grill is it cooks very, very fast. So, put my hamburger in there and make it sort of an oblong so we can cook both of them at the same time. And on my uh, particular little George Foreman grill, it doesn't cook as 
well right down at the bottom, so I try to kind of keep them up towards the top. Mash them down. All right, that's all it takes. So this is uh, some uh, lean uh, ground beef. It's, uh, it's not the super lean, though. All right, I'll put my little grill down. I'll go ahead and plug it in and go check on my zucchini in the oven, and we'll be back when this all gets done. Okay, our hamburgers are done. They cook really fast in that uh, George Foreman grill. So I warmed up the uh, hamburger bun. So we're going to go ahead and put this together real quick. The zucchini are still cooking. They're going to be done in probably another five minutes. So I would say it takes 20 minutes to fix those in the oven. So I'm just going to put some mayonnaise on both sides of these buns. And by the way, these buns come from Walmart and I love them. In fact, I, since I found these in Walmart, I haven't made those square buns that I usually make because these are certainly as good as those. Or at least I think they are. Mr. Bucky likes them too. All right. So we got our bun all ready now. And uh, while these were cooking, I went ahead and sliced up some tomato. So there's the hamburger. Can y'all see? Nice and brown and hot. And of course we go ahead and cook our hamburger done. And put a little salt on because I don't put salt on ahead of time. And I got these uh, tomatoes from Aldi. They came from Mexico. They're the little small, I think they're probably vine ripened. Anyway, they're quite delicious actually. Mine. All right, and so now I'm going to use some of the spring mix lettuce. Let me put a little more salt on these tomatoes, and then I'm just going to use that spring mix, and then we're going to have some extra on the plate. It's too big. Just cram it all in like that. Falls out, just stick it back in there. All right, so there's the hamburger. I'm going to do a little extra on the plate. Right there. And I'm going to put a couple of tomato on top of that. And a couple of pickles. Alrighty, now we're just waiting for the zucchini, and I think I hear it popping and cracking in the oven. All right, I'm going to get all this on the plate, and we'll be back. Fix my tea for us. We'll be back. Here's the zucchini. Now, I only had it on broil for, I don't know, five or six minutes, so it took probably 20 minutes to cook. So I switched the oven back to 425 on bake to finish them off. But they're nice and tender. All right, let me get all this together, and we'll be back. Okay, here's the meal, and I didn't look at the clock, but I think it was about 2 o'clock when I put the zucchini in the oven. Now, the oven was preheated, so, uh, and of course, the George Foreman grill uh, really cooks the hamburger super fast. Now, here are the spices I used on the uh, zucchini. The, uh, I used a little bit of dill, onion powder, garlic powder, and that Himalayan salt. And of course, we need a fork and a knife in order to eat the zucchini. They are tender. And these were big ones, but they were very pretty. I think they came from Florida. There's our iced tea, and Mr. Bucky insists on paper towels when we have hamburgers. So we got three of those little half paper towels. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time.